Yeah, grateful to uh, be back on the court tonight. Um, seemed like a long time in between games after playing so many games to start the season. Um, you know, didn't didn't feel like we were as crisp as we, we wanted to be tonight. Uh, but, you know, I thought our guys did a good job getting their hands on the basketball. We had 44 deflections, uh, which is always a recipe for winning. We had nine kills. Um, we just weren't consistent enough in a lot of areas on both ends of the floor, and the 20 turnovers is way too many. So a lot of areas that we'll watch tomorrow on tape to uh, work to get better on, um, a lot of opportunity for, to grow. Shaka, you made that five-man swap about four minutes into the game. I assume you just didn't like the energy of the starters. What did you tell them, and then what did you tell the, the five guys coming in as well? Well, I didn't like uh, the stance we had on defense. I mean, that was, that's been a huge emphasis for us, just playing in the stance. Um, and that's something that, that we will definitely look at tomorrow on film and show these guys. I just I don't think you can be at your best if you're not in a stance. I think it's a, it's a real good indication of being lost in the fight on the defensive end. Um, and we didn't get our hands on the basketball those first three and a half, four minutes. I think we had two deflections, and then Stevie and those guys come in, and we had like 11 deflections in the next five or six minutes. Um, so that starting group, um, if they're going to start for us, they're going to need to, you know, come with better energy than that. Uh, otherwise, we can, you know, make an adjustment and start someone else or take them out of the game. Uh, we've, we're fortunate we have some guys that can come off the bench and, and, and give us a lift, and that's exactly what those guys did. You mentioned Stevie. Like, it seemed like in the last game against a really good St. Bonaventure team, he was a little bit overwhelmed kind of. Yeah. Well, How would you see him bounce back today? It seemed – pretty poised out there yeah all these freshmen get overwhelmed at times um but i'm excited because you know they've all shown growth uh in a lot of ways since they got here and you know stevie's a guy that um you know i was just telling homer uh he's just got a purity for winning you know he wants to win he wants to help his team um you know as i tell these guys all the time you know it's a, it's a big jump you know these games don't really resemble uh, the games you played in last year, um, so it's an adjustment. But I thought Stevie, you know, did a great job of just executing our game plan of, of trying that we said make him feel us, uh, and I thought he did that on the defensive end. Uh, I don't know how many individual deflections he had, but it had to be close to double figures. Um, and again, the goal is 32. So if you have a guy in there that's that's getting a lot of deflections, it goes a long way towards your goal. Hey, Coach, you mentioned the play of the bench. You guys outscored them 35-5 to five in terms of bench points tonight. What does that say about, you know, how you trust your bench and, you know, the strength of this team being so deep? Well, you know, we've got 11 guys, uh, scholarship guys, uh, that, that play for us with Key and redshirting. Uh, all those guys are capable of, of coming in the game and, and impacting our team if their mind is clear. Um, but that's that's – not a given you know they, they have to make sure uh, and we have to make sure that we do everything we can to make sure they have a clear mind and that they're in our circle um, you know I, I thought um, we learned a lot from that St. Bonaventure game about what happens when frustration sets in over the course of a game and you know hopefully that's something that our guys can utilize moving forward um, you know Northern Illinois you know, like us as a team that's in transition, first year coach. Um, you know, I, th I thought those guys did some good things and they, they continued to attack. Uh, but as a team, you know, we have to decide the standard, you know, that, that we want to be at regardless of the opponent. And I thought tonight we were um, some timey on reaching that standard. So we got to get better. The 20 turnovers, do you think that was a result as? Like you've mentioned a couple of times this season, guys trying to do things that they didn't pri they haven't practiced yet, or do you think it was set up, or what, what do you think? I think that I would put the categories in a, in a few um, – uh, the turnovers in a few categories. Number one, when you play a team that gives a lot of help when you drive the ball, then you have to pass the ball before the help takes the ball from you or deflects the ball. We had several turnovers where – there was a help defender that, that got, a, got a hand on a, a drive or a spin. And you have to understand that that's going to be there, so be strong with the ball and find your teammate. Number two, 
Um, you know, I thought in transition just had some sloppy plays um, that that we've got to do better. We've got to clean up better. Um, and then, you know, on, on some of our pick and roll actions, we forced some passes that really weren't there. We got to find the right pass, find the right guy. Uh, to me, it's interesting. Like it, uh, anytime you know you have a lot of turnovers, or you know there's something else that, as a team, you, you're not where you want to be on. It's it's always a symptom of, you know, not necessarily being lost in the fight. And um, you know, I'm hard on our guys. I have a high standard for them. But you know, I th- I thought that for whatever reason we didn't have the same spirit and energy that we had the last time we played here against Illinois. Um, maybe it was the opponent, or whatever it was, but that, that's not acceptable. And uh, my job is to help these guys understand we're trying to build a consistent mentality that is regardless of circumstances, that includes the venue, the opponent, the time, the officials, the weather, no matter what else is going on, this is who we are. And we're not there yet, so we're going to keep working. Justin had 15 points on six of seven shooting. What did you like about his game, and do you think he can be even more aggressive? Yeah, I do. I, do. I mean, I think I like to see Justin get to the foul line, you know, six plus times a game. But I really liked his efficiency tonight. You know, to get 15 points on only seven shots, you know, says a lot about him. You know, we we tend to run the first play of the game for him. Uh, and he's, he's, he did a nice job tonight of just kind of taking what they gave him and got in there and got an easy two. It's a great way to start the game. Um, you know, teams are going to do different things against him. I, I really appreciate the fact that he's playing a whole different style of basketball. I'm talking about him individually than he's ever played up to this season. Um, so for us to put him in that position and seven games in, He's been very consistent. I think he's had 15 or more points every game. Um, so that consistency and that growth that he's shown is is impressive. Um, I get on him about the rebounding. I, I want to see him get double figure rebounds every game. But uh, you know, he he's I think he's off to a really good start this season. You've been on Chop and everybody really about improving on defense. Uh, he had a deflection. You gave him a big bear hug on the on the sideline. He also had a you know, hustle play. He knocked away a yes open layup or open dunk. Uh, how have you seen Jop's kind of progression on the defensive end? He's getting there. He would have played more tonight, but he missed a free throw block out. So he spent some time over by us um, after that. I, you know, with all these freshmen, they they don't know how good they can be yet. And they're out there feeling their way. And their confidence, you can see it, is not all the way there. To me, my wife says it all the time, in the absence of confidence, fight. The absence of confidence, fight. So I thought when he did that, he was good. Uh, I thought when he got a little, you know, wrapped up in the last play or whatever it was, then he wasn't as good. Um, but it's the same for Job, Marion Ellis, um, Cam Jones. Those guys, they have a bright future, and they're, they're going to be really sturdy, um, aggressive, tough-minded guys. They're just not yet. Uh, but they're going to get there. Thank you.